Hi, and welcome to this series where we're going to be going over how to build the back end of your business so that future maintenance is minimized and streamlined. If you follow along with this process, you'll be able to manage all future updates to your tenant websites in addition to your storefront, all by only updating just one website. So let's get started. So for this example, I'm going to create an LMS product. Go ahead, create new product. So I just named it LMS example. I'm going to click into it and get started building my version. So for the name, I just named it LMS example version one. I chose the latest WordPress version that's available right now. I left the PHP alone and the only base snapshot is an empty WordPress and then click submit. All right. Now that that's deployed, we click on editor to open up the back end of the WordPress site. First thing I'm going to install is my theme. For this example, I'm going to be using Divi. So go to appearance themes, go ahead and upload this theme. Now that that's installed, let's activate it. And this is the only thing we're going to be activating. All the plugins we're going to do and everything else, we're going to be uh, waiting to activate those until the end. And you'll see why. Now it's best to go ahead and get rid of all these pre-installed themes. It's just something to update that we don't want to have to deal with later. Now that all those are deleted, let's get started on plugins. Go to add new. Now in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and install all of the plugins that I need, and then I'll go over them at the end. Okay, I've just installed all of the plugins that I'm going to need to run my business. Let's go over them one at a time, starting off with the storefront plugins, since these are pretty much the ones you're going to need to be able to run your storefront properly. First, we have WooCommerce, which allows us to sell things on our website. Then I added on WooCommerce subscriptions, which will allow us to sell our services for a monthly or annual subscription. We have Uncanny Automator, which is going to automatically make things happen when people buy our products or when their subscription lapses. We have Groundhog, which is going to be our email marketing platform. We have Cart Flows, which will enable us to create funnels and upsells using WooCommerce. And that's about all we need for the storefront. I do have Uncanny Automator Pro. This is optional. The free version of Uncanny Automator should work just fine for you. Now let's go over the plugins we're going to be using for our tenants. Remember, these are just examples and the plugins that you use for your tenants is going to depend on what type of service that you're providing. But in this case, I am creating an LMS. So I'm going to be providing plugins like Sensei. I'm also going to be installing plugins like WooCommerce memberships so that my customers are able to lock down their courses and only allow members to access them. But by far the most important plugin you want to make sure that you put on your tenants is the admin menu editor. And unlike Uncanny Automator where Pro was optional, you're probably going to want to go ahead and invest in the Pro version of admin menu editor or a similar plugin. What this is going to allow you to do is change the menu items on the dashboard of WordPress so that your customers don't have access to certain things within the WordPress dashboard. This is very important to keep them from going in and messing with certain settings and breaking the website. So now that we have our theme and all of our plugins installed, it's time to create our storefront and our client websites, both from this website that we just created. That's going to be in the next video, and I'll see you there.